the national strategic Bitcoin stockpile would be a huge deal. Earlier this year in Nashville, Tennessee, Trump announced that if elected president, he plans to convert the United States' 200,000 Bitcoin into a strategic Bitcoin stockpile. And in addition to this announcement by Trump, Senator Cynthia Lummis proposed new legislation that would actually make this strategic stockpile a reality. But it would also implement a 1 million Bitcoin purchase program over a five-year period, currently about $70 billion. That's a pretty big deal as obviously a price indiscriminate buyer trying to buy 1 million Bitcoins would likely send the price significantly higher and usher in a completely new era of geopolitical game theory. Taking a step back, it's crazy to think how far Bitcoin has come and how fast the Overton window has shifted. We went from Bitcoin will never work because it's a tulip bubble and governments will ban it to strategic reserve asset very quickly. But why does this make sense for the United States? In fact, I think this ultimately will become a nonpartisan pro-American policy. Trump has the best chance and the highest motivation to do this first, but ultimately all politicians will see the benefits of adopting Bitcoin as a national strategic stockpile. But again, why does this make sense for the United States? Well, why does it make sense for MSTR? Conservatively borrowing cheap money and buying Bitcoin is how MSTR has outperformed every company in the S&P 500 over the last four years. MSTR is now even valued at a premium to its underlying Bitcoin, enabling them to simply issue more equity and accumulate more Bitcoin per share, known as accretive dilution. Why would the same concept not just apply to countries? It does. It just is a much bigger deal. Right now, the United States is the most powerful country in the world. Post-World Wars, we became the financial capital of the world. Part of what enabled that is the dominance of the U.S. dollar. The world became more global and interconnected than ever before, and the world converged on the dollar as money. Now, countries like China and Russia are beginning to sell off dollar assets and buy assets without counterparty risk like gold. This means the U.S. government is beginning to lose a marginal buyer for U.S. debt which ultimately might make it more difficult to fund trillion dollar annual deficits. This is an impending problem for the United States, but the clear solution is Bitcoin, just no one knows it yet. If the world is in the process of shifting to a new digital monetary tool, then it would be rational to perform some accretive dilution and use dollars that we can effectively print out of thin air to buy the one best monetary tool no nation can print out of thin air. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.